Hi friends, how's Derek here? I was talking with fans people, and I just I have to comment on this shit. It's it's driving me a little bit crazy. I uh, I can't believe that this woman. Yeah. All right, so look, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube about feminism, third wave feminism, yada yada yada, right? And. I, I'm not a fan of it, obviously, either. I think it's ridiculous. But by and large, my take on on feminism issues is I consider myself a feminist in the sense that I treat everybody like an individual human being, which is the only kind of... Individual human being-ist is the only kind of ist one can morally be, as far as I'm concerned. It means affording every individual their just chance to be treated as an individual. Feminism, as people call it in academia, is absolutely not feminist. It's, it's the most hateful kind of discriminatory, behavioral, controlling, awfulness imaginable. So, yeah, like, people who call themselves feminists at the university, like this woman. Uh, Alright, so this woman here, Simona Sharoni of Miramar College, who's a professor of women and gender studies, uh, was on an elevator with this guy, Richard Ned Lebow, who was a professor of political theory, and she says she offered to press the four buttons for people in the elevator, whom she described mostly as conference attendees and all except one other woman, white middle-aged men. Instead of saying a floor, Lebow smiled and asked for the woman's lingerie department, and all of his buddies laughed, Sharoni wrote in a complaint, the details of which he disputed to the association later that day. Um, she said she offered to press the... Oh yeah, I read that one. After they walked out, the woman, standing, the woman standing next to me turned to me and said, I wonder if we should have told them that it no longer seems like these jokes, she said in her complaint. Sharoni, who wrote in her complaint that she has experienced sexual harassment in academia in the past and was shaken by the incident, said it took her a while to figure out that Lebo thought it was funny to make a reference to men shopping for lingerie while attending an academic conference. I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that we froze and didn't confront him, she wrote. Confront him, huh? After glancing at Lebo's name tag, Sharoni says she went back to her hotel room to check out the the Mian, the code of conduct. She wrote to the she wrote to Mark A. Boyer, uh, which determined that Lebo had violated the conduct code. Lebo insists it never should have gotten to that point because he tried to resolve the problem informally as the association's conduct code recommends. After being informed that his conduct was under investigation, Lebo wrote to Sharoni an email assuring her that I certainly had no desire to insult women and make you feel uncomfortable. He suggested that Sharoni, who was born in Romania and raised in Israel, might have misinterpreted his remark. When he was young, in the 50s, he said, it was a standard gag line to ask the elevator operator for the hardware or laundry floor, as though one were in a department store. Like you, I am strongly opposed to the exploitation, coercion, or humiliation of People would be fine to put there, Lebo wrote. As such evils continue, it seems to me to make sense to direct our attention to real offenses, not those imagined or marginal. Yes, exactly. There are real offenses out there, but this woman is an offense to all sense of, of decency, logic, constraint, restraint, reasonableness, and general decency. I mean, she's awful, awful person. She's a horrible human being. How do I know you are a horrible human being, Simona Sharoni? Because you jumped eagerly at a chance to get somebody in trouble. You just, ooh, I'm going to get somebody in trouble. And you're dishonest, aren't you? You knew 
that that really wasn't a, you knew, you knew he wasn't really trying to humiliate women or any of those other bullshit things you're saying. You know that. Now we're going to hear what a liar this woman is in a second too. So no, what I'm not doing is critiquing you on things like your gender, your age, your nationality, your race, your any of those other bullshit things that people mistakenly think inform them meaningfully about life. Your group identity politics, madam, however, I am certainly judging you on, and they are fucking awful, as are you. That you hold them and teach them to students as though they were gospel truth, even though they're completely... <sighs> You don't understand the nature of identity or ontology at all. It's not what you think it is. These purported villains that you have in your head of the patriarchy and stuff, they don't exist. It's a reification fallacy. You attribute agency to non-agents all the time. You're, a, you're intellectually bankrupt. You certainly don't deserve to be teaching anybody anything. You make a good counterexample, you know. Uh, let's see. Turns out that's not the way. You may be directing time and effort away from the real offenses the trouble is both. It turns out that's not the way the association read the matter. Boyer informed Lee that his remarks had been deemed offensive and inappropriate and even more serious violation than the elevator remarks. Boyer wrote, was that you chose to reach out to Professor Sharoni and termed her complaint frivolous. Oh, an even more serious violation is complaining, is, is referring to somebody else's complaint as frivolous, when it clearly is frivolous? That's an, a more serious violation than the frivolous bullshit that you think is a bad violation in the first place? Your Boyer, Boyer is an absolute, just a despicable scumbag. I mean, Cerrone's a scumbag, but Boyer's got to be an even worse scumbag. He tries to criminalize, in some sense, um, a, a, a defense against frivolous fucking accusations. Lebo was told to write an unequivocal apology to Cerrone and submit a written copy. What? He refused, of course, because he's not incredibly stupid. Um, he points out that it was a man, not a woman, who asked for the floors, and the other men in the elevator were not his buddies, as she described him. He wasn't smiling, he said, and she wouldn't have known if he was because he was standing in the back and she was in front of him. Uh, okay, so, he, she's a liar. Mm hmm liar. Worthless scumbag liar. Sharoni told the Chronicle the real chilling effect was against people who experience and report sexual harassment. For decades, women of the marginalized group in the academy had to, be, had to put up with white men who decided what counts as a violation and what is frivolous, she wrote in an email. My God, you're dumb. Oh my God, that's infuriating. If, in fact, the standard of frivolousness was good, it doesn't matter who came up with it. And if it was bad, then that was standard was the problem. You cannot attach agency to fucking groups like that. You fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Use what little brains you have, please. You insane, insanely stupid woman. Among those who came to Sharoni's defense were Craig N. Murphy, a professor of political science at Wellesley College, who should be removed from academia because of his obvious incompetence at understanding political science since he's coming to her defense. And a former president in the International Studies Association and apparently a leading contender for incompetent of the year, he said he believes in the association's code of conduct and its grievous procedure, and he's disappointed in Lebo's unwillingness to deliver a sincere apology. <clears throat> no. No, morons. If something is, in fact, offensive in some regard, 
then there are normal, naturally occurring social mechanisms that will suppress that behavior. People will incur natural social consequences for being perceived as being an asswipe, understandably. And that's how it should be because it's a metaphysical offense. It should be a metaphysical punishment. There's no, there's no, ah, Jesus, you people are fucking idiots. Dangerous idiots in some sense, or, although you're so fucking stupid. I mean, how dangerous can you be? Complaining about a old joke from the 50s. You heard an elevator because you could potentially make the argument that it could be deemed by somebody who's crazy enough to make this argument and deem it as such misogynistic. <sighs> Let me tell you something. Idiocy knows no gender. People who reject the most obvious and common sense of truths in favor of their ideological fervor are some of the most morally reprehensible people on the planet. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and Lebo, good job, and keep fighting the good fight, dog, and um, this scumbag bitch can suck it.